when I was in the Senate, of course, was the beginning of a time that they were still struggling and had been for years on trying to figure out how best to protect the land called the Flint Hills. I only watched it from the sidelines at first. <laughs> Not really sympathetic, but I, I really didn't feel the intensity until I got involved. It was like uh, the Hatfields and the McCoys. It was a real clash as this concern grew, how much land would be taken in, what would be the use of a park, and who would run it. I don't know why I happened to get <laughs> drawn in like I did. Maybe because of an interest in the region. I mean, um, at that point, I was, I had a property here. And uh, Governor Carlin put together a group with representatives from all sides. We went through a lot of different meetings and uh, efforts to try and bring people together. As I said, I came along, I think, after everybody was kind of exhausted <laughs> and, and uh, were seeking to find something that could come to some resolution. And it finally became law as one of the last pieces of legislation to come through the House in 1996 when I was retiring. And that, I think, was the last piece of legislation out the door in 1996. I believe it was important to do, and it's important to preserve, as are other areas of our state. Uh, it's the history of what we were, and are, and will be. And I think a state that can do that is uh, only adding to the richness of the next, to the next generation of inheritance.